when I joined the organization just over two years ago, we were nine or 10 people, we're now up to almost 20. We were very fortunate that SPY, who were one of our founding members, made space available for us. But that space was never able to lay it out in, in a way that made sense. We wanted our new premises to not only have the capacity to handle what we see as being a very, very, very attractive future, but also premises that would, would demonstrate to our members, to visitors, the values that Green Building is all about. When we looked at Black River Park, there were a number of very appealing factors. The first, and probably the most important, was that it gave us a blank canvas opportunity, which meant that we had something new that we could work with, rather than trying to retrofit into somebody else's old premises. We liked the fact that we're 400 meters from a railway station. We liked the fact that we had fantastic access to the highway system. And then perhaps the single most important reason was that the rental offering was very, very attractive. One of the challenges was obviously our lease was expiring uh, end of July uh, and we had a fairly short time allowance for for getting design done the interior designer we got collaboration on board to do the interior design and project management and really um, they've been fantastic uh, and the kind of role that they've played in, in leading the charge we are the principal agents on the project and we're also the interior architects and designers something that's been really interesting that we've been involved in is the use of a welcoming desk as opposed to a reception desk and the emphasis from Green Building Council was to create a we space, not an I space. So instead of isolating someone at a reception desk, it's a space that anyone can get up and greet people with. And the fact that we've used um, reclaimed timber from the existing site, and we've created a tree element that overhangs the space to really add interest. The, the other sort of key factor is really the incredible support that we've had from sponsors um, and that's been fantastic and we wouldn't have been able to do it without, about, without their support. We've sponsored mainly most of the, the furniture for, for the project. Basically we've done the open plan area, we've done the libraries, the meeting areas, the boardroom, um, the open plan area which comprises of the desking, um, screens, um, storage units, and hinged door cabinets. Uh, the ergonomic task chairs. It's just a product that's going to help support the users in front of their workstation uh, and it's part of a holistic ergonomic solution in front of each user's workstation. We are sponsoring the interior building materials. We are uh, looking at the drywalling, ceilings, the insulation and some of the um, tile adhesive. We are looking at an element of, of the air conditioning. Um, and we are sponsoring the entirety of all the air conditioning products that are going to be going into the building itself. We are sponsoring digital lighting system uh, with building management software for the, for the offices. Well, we are sponsoring the carpet tile and um, I think you know, when, when we were approached by GBCSA to do it, it was actually a, um, it was something that we really wanted to be part and parcel of because obviously uh, we are very involved in sustainability. The sort of support professionals that have been part of that, uh, in terms of Green Star consulting, an incredible team effort to get uh, the amount of work done in, in the space of time that, that uh, kind of required that. My role in the project was to do the um, lighting design and obviously being a Green Star project, the focus was on energy saving and a very high 
efficient lighting solution. As uh, mechanical engineers, we uh, assisted with the design of the HVAC system and assessed what was there before and realized that it was outdated and not environmentally friendly. We build up uh, models, 3D models of a, of a building uh, on a computer. Uh, and we try and accurately as possible uh, uh, try to uh, base the, the building in its right orientation, duplicate the construction materials of the building and then we simulate the performance of that building with real weather data. Um, our role on this project is the Green Star Credit to Professional. So we were briefed to really uh, take the professional team and the client, which is the Green Building Council, through the Green Star rating process. One of the singularly most important things that this organisation is going to be doing, probably in its life, is the launch of an interiors rating tool. The Green Star SA Interior Certification, we are looking to launch that as a Green Building Council in October this year. Up until now, Green Building ratings have been about new buildings, and it's been the property owner that's made the Green Building decision. The interiors tool puts that decision in the hands of the tenant. The most rewarding part about being involved with this project has been involved in a job where holistically everybody's focused on the environment. Cecil Nurse is a member of the GBCSA um, and we feel that it's important as an office furniture um, supplier to, to want to create better places for, for people to work in. We've been very involved with the Green Building Council since they started and we believe strongly that you must walk your talk. We, we've been working with the Green Building Council and supporting them in their initiative for the better part of three or four years now. Green Building Council is, is a council that's very close to the heart of Samsung as an organisation uh, and I think on a global level it's, it's, it's something that we've very much focused on as a strategy. We've always had a high presence with the GBC and um, just to be able to participate in their building and give them a product that, they, that we felt would be the right product. It's been rewarding just being able to be involved with doing something that's as close to home as that, um, knowing that it's, it's for the people who assess all Green Star applications um, and process them. It's a fantastic project to, to get involved in and to, to be able to experience what the Green Interior tool is going to be and to be able to work through it. To contribute to the industry, which has given so much back to us, um, that's, that's the main reason we've done it. Helping uh, uh, Green Building Council is uh, helping everybody else with it. So for us it, it was exciting to, to be part of this and to help them uh, move into a place that reflects uh, uh, some of the values that they, they stand for. To be able to not only be but also be seen to be living up to all of these um, values that we espouse so easily and so freely to the external property market is incredibly important. Our ability to communicate this mission with passion, with enthusiasm, is just reinforced when in fact that's from whence we come. <laughs>